All right, so here we are. Here's a tour of my 6x12 trailer. I picked it up for a steal of a deal. So the first thing I did was I installed power. I have an outlet and I have a switch for exterior lighting in case I need to set up a chop saw or a table saw if it's nighttime. But it's super simple. It gets the job, roll out an extension cord, plug it into the house. All right, so here we go. This is the second time I've remodeled this. This right here is this paint supply shelf. Very specific. You'll notice there's holes and there's holes under those holes and that is to keep the brushes from vibrating knocking back and forth on each other. I did have these hanging on a pegboard at one point in time, but the bristles kept getting hung on one another and destroying all my brushes. All my roller trays, roller handles, brushes, naps, mini trays, glue, liners, spray paint, little latch right here. That's not going anywhere. You'll notice I designed that with roller balls. It does touch when it gets out there. But I figured with enough weight on that shelf, eventually it's going to start sagging. So it's going to need to be guided. Those work great. All right. So let's go in. You can see here. The spot for my gorilla. Little step. Light switch. Outlet. Okay. There's a lip up here on top of this shelf for miscellaneous storage. We'll come in. Shut the door. Alright. Now you'll notice on the back of that paint shelf. There is all my caulking guns. I have slots cut in the wood so they're not all over the place. Paint buckets. Additional pegboard. Again, I had a bunch of tools over here, but now that I've reorganized, I have plenty of room. I have a cabinet. So, right here. This was, uh, this was a nifty little tip from somebody on YouTube. I saw them with that. But uh, just a little cabinet for, you know, grease, paperwork, pencils, markers, the way I have it set up. These are just bolts, but I got one of the push, push button magnets for cabinets. So that locks, but this you drop this in the top. Where are we? And then it locks, locks. This was my version of a passive system. Now those can't open. All right, here we have additional LED lights. I first put these in, realized they weren't bright enough, so I ended up with a shop light. But we have those just in case. We don't want things bright. Now we have a sink. This does work. I haven't put a five gallon jug of water here yet. I usually do in the summer because that froze on me one year and the spigot blew right apart. So I take this out in the fall. I have a water pump. I just flick the switch and then I can have a hand washing station in a pinch. That's where I keep all my rags, sponges, SOS pads, Got to have a hand washing station. You know what I'm saying? All right. I don't want to starve on the job. So you got to have a fridge capable of holding sodas, waters, energy drinks, microwave your lunch. Yes, this all works. And you can thank Ron Polk for this idea. Actually, for a lot of these ideas. But check out his YouTube channel. This right here is 100 feet. Flex line 
for the compressor that doesn't ever have to leave the trailer that's plugged in that can just be turned on I still have yet to put a hole right here but there's gonna be a hole put right in the floor with roller balls to help guide you know like ball bearings to help guide the tube as it goes out from the trailer all right so above that I have two cast pipes here those stick out of the wall those are for all my extension cords behind that there's a wooden slot here for my framing gun and my palm nailer just kind of hangs on that so I'll move it over I keep my plumbing my electrical boxes I should never be doing more than that worth of plumbing or electrical so that's kind of my rule of thumb if I can if it doesn't fit in those boxes I pretty much don't need it maybe I have some backup propane tanks and stuff but uh, just the basics again Ron Polk this is an awesome suggestion on his YouTube channel I didn't take his designs I redesigned it myself on SketchUp Pro but yeah making a jig rabbiting all these out with a router that was the way to go now these are adjustable if I ever you know throw these tools out or they break and I buy new guns and they're different sizes I can move these just pop the screws pull that nose piece and then I can move them over right here we get all my nails flooring staples my angle stapler or my angle nail gun these are my uh, finish staplers my brad nailer hammer tacker everything for my grinders everything for my uh, multi-tool plenty of empty spots to start packing stuff in another corded multi-tool gotta have tunes belt sander um what is that that's like a mini cutting saw it's like a mini skill saw um all right moving on so down here you'll notice i rabbited it out i put led lights so that this way this could all be lit up in at night these are made out of pvc pipe for now i just have a you know six inch hex timber lock just passively holds them in yeah those aren't going anywhere while I'm driving those are those are shot all right up here we definitely got more backup nails you know you got your framing nails your framing screws your tico nails your grks your trim your you name it all right these are cool i picked those up on amazon those are wicked cool i didn't like the other ones for hanging the tools but the battery ones these are nice they lock right in and they don't go anywhere so i'll leave a link in the description of that um no just a piece of flat aluminum perfect for tape measures all right let's check out the drawers obviously my screw gun my impact they're right here so right next to it gotta have all the bits right all my blades hole saws drill bits all my sanding equipment sanders belt sand paper regular sandpaper 50 through 320 i think or 860 through 320 all right this is going to be kind of like the nail sets and chisels and stud finder everything for framing framing squares some pry bars all right kind of a miscellaneous drawer but got the guys pouches you know nail pouches some uh, metal bending tools a zip tool for doing vinyl and then here's my backup plumbing drawer if it's really more than this I don't need to do it I need to sub out the work at this point adding a fitting switching out a valve not a big deal 
All right, this is a heavy, heavy drawer. This was, used to be my hand tool box. This is where all my hand tools go. I haven't got to all the organizing. Lasers, Craig jig, finish tools. Six foot drawer. For my zip wall, for my stand, for my chop saw. Rolls of rosin paper. Six foot level, four foot track saw, two four foot track saws. All right, over here, we got all the tie downs for anything, whether it's my table saw or my tile saw that fits right in here. And then over here, this is not fully designed yet. This is still a work in progress. These will all be drawers. I'll have like my sheet rocking tools, probably my tile tools blades and stuff for the chop saw and skill saw and jigsaw blades and probably a drawer for the jigsaw but this right here is actually going to be on ball bearing um drawer slides so it'll slide all the way out i'll drop a wooden dowel in lock it in place and i'll be able to cut you know legs of trim here in a pinch so that's the idea it's not going to be used a lot but on a day when it's pouring and you got to cut a leg of trim, man, there's nothing like having to drag the saw out in the pouring rain or putting up an easy up. In this case, you won't need to do it. Just plug in, zap it, bring it in. All right, moving on. Got all my drops up here. Got to have a little lip so things don't slide off. And then we got adjustable drawers here. This is all rabbited out so these can go anywhere. But... Right now, the skill saws are in there. That's perfect. This has got a little lip on the bottom. So once you roll it in, the tires actually drop down in a little groove. It's not going anywhere. So yeah, hope you like what you see. Don't mind the hair, guys. I just got out of the shower. It was a long day working on you know the yard, working on the trailer. But this is Alex from Cornerstone Contractors. If you like what you see here, if you like the trailer, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Ask any questions you want. I'll, I'll try and help what I can. Again, this is a Ron Polk inspired tool trailer. I ran into his YouTube channel first and then it was just a rabbit trail from there. Lots of other different YouTube channels for like the idea for the tape or the tape measure or... Um, The one for the uh, the gorilla ladder. That too was another idea of another person. So don't stop yourself from looking it up. Don't hesitate to look this stuff up. If you need more organization in your trailer, check out YouTube. Check out all these people's channels. Use their inspiration. Design your own ideas on SketchUp. Or look at Ron Polk's plans. You can print those out. And you can just build the plans for your trailer. I hope this is helpful. May God bless your journey.